Scott, let's go. We're going beyond a steel sky. Well, Scott, I'm pretty excited, dude. I get to talk about one of my favorite developers. They are back. Revolution Software is back once again. No, we're not talking about Broken Sword. We're talking about the latest title, Beyond a Steel Sky, making its way to console. A year ago, Corey and I were checking this out over on Steam, reviewed it over there, but now we're getting caught up in the world of consoles, and you and I are jumping back in. What did you think of Beyond a Steel Sky? I was a little bit nervous because I'm not super into um, point-click adventure <laughs> games. I wasn't quite sure what to I make am. of it. But yeah. you are kind of our expert here on the show, and I heard, well, mixed reaction to this. So getting in for my own opinion, I actually had a pretty good time, but we're going to get into that further on here. What was your first, second impression of this game? <laughs> my second impression is, yeah, I played this already. <laughs> so it's one of those unique things of, okay, how well... So I took a different perspective, right? Because I already knew the story. I already played the game once. But how does it transition over the world of console? Obviously, using the WASD keys and your mouse are a lot different than how the console and controller works functionally. So to move over to console and have a controller in my hand, Dude, it felt like home. Like, it was really, really good. It was smooth like butter. It was no problem whatsoever. Moving through the menus was relatively easy as well. Normally, in a point-and-click adventure game, you're dragging your mouse to, you know, highlight certain areas and things like that. Where here, because you're on the console, you look in that general d direction, and it'll kind of pull, pull, uh, pop up an icon there, and then you can hit the, the A button and interact with it. And that's the biggest thing here. And then you select your dialogue and move on from there. There is a lot of dialogue within the game. Oh, so, yeah. yeah point and click is definitely its own unique genre but revolution software have been doing it so well for so long that they already know the formula right there it's there it's engaging the story i think is the highlight right it really keeps you engaged oh, yeah. but there are moments like you and i were just kind of refreshing ourselves and talking about it last night that kind of hit you with a bit of a slow pacing at points scott how do you mm -hmm. feel about that yeah so you spend a lot of time kind of well following an objective of some sort. Sure. So that objective gets changed and tweaked over time, yeah. so you kind of always are moving forward, and that's fine. But yeah, there's a lot of these challenge areas, these rooms with puzzles perhaps, or just kind of a mysterious next step that you have to discover, and sometimes it takes quite a while to you know, put the pieces together or touch the right object, and then it changes your dialogue options with other people. So it's it's very much a detective kind of based game yep. where you might enter a, an area and you have to, well, how do I get this guy out of the way? Yeah. And you have to come up with a creative way to do that. And I think it was really good because the challenge is there sometimes. I got stumped a few times. <laughs> There's one, I'm gonna allude to it. There's a, a cafe moment with music and that took me quite a while to figure <laughs> out. But once you do, it's kind of a eureka moment yep. and on to the next one. That's something that pulled me in for much longer play sessions. It took a little while, but it got me. Scott, you always look for iterations and improvements and just things that help move the genre forward. And with Beyond a Steel Sky, Foster, the main character, is handed over a scanner or more or less steals a scanner. But he uses it to solve different puzzles and mechanics, often something you have not seen before, especially in the Broken Story series. This is a bit of a new step forward for adding into the puzzle mechanic behind the game. Overall, though, Scott, what are your impressions of the story? Oh, I think it was a really good setting to kind of place out this drama, I suppose, of yeah. the storyline. You are following this abducted child case and it leads you into like a, a super city. And in that super city, it shows off a lot of the universe. So you are from the Outlands, you're kind of in this rabble camp, yeah. and you make it into the city and there's a lot of these kind of dignitaries around. You get the feeling that there's kind of two classes going on, almost like a Hunger Games scenario where everybody's <laughs> just, I, I love the voice lines they use, just keep a smile on your face. Oh, it's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely pulled me in, and I want to know more awesome. about this universe now. I, I know this has a prequel to it, and I'm very oh, curious to see ago. how that works. But I want to see more 
come down from this series in the future because it's just such a believable world to me and the storyline yep. brings you through a bunch of different characters and they're all very memorable and they all have their own quirks to it. This was a, a really good venue to kind of put you through a lot of these detective scenarios. So I, you know, I really like this one. I think I have to round this up with a score because I'm just about there. <laughs> Aesthetically, it was satisfying. Yep. It has that kind of comic book look to it, but I, I love it. really liked it. Yeah. The world, again, like I said, super believable. Gameplay is quite slow at times, but those moments of challenge really kept me going for more. I am very impressed with this game. It's out of my genre, but I have to give this one an eight. That's, I very much enjoyed it. Dude, that's awesome. I'm glad we found you a new genre. Welcome to the world of point and click adventure games. Obviously, as I said, right off the top, done by one of the best revolution software. So I, I always had uh, high hopes for this one and to see it now move over to the world of consoles. I'm right there again. You know, it picked me right back up where I left off. It's fantastic. The art style, the gameplay, the dialogue and the banter between some of your characters is fantastic. Dude, I'm there with two. Eight for me as well. Beyond a Steel Sky is an excellently written and paced mystery adventure. It has memorable characters and challenging progression that makes this a must-have. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more.